So it's all work and no play at the minute. Anyway, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just pick up the old uh, camera and show you what I'm doing bits and bobs. So, anyway, just turn you around, show you what we're up to. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I'm <coughs> just changing the carbon in the filter again. <coughs> Only been changed um, three, four weeks ago. I noticed chlorine going back in again. I think it was 16 on the end. I had a checker yesterday, seven in here, so. <coughs> so I'm just. Excuse me. Changing these out. Done the one. There you go. Again, jump. It is quite quiet since I put the new pump on, but anyway, yeah, so I'm chain these out um, to what I've got, carbon. Um, let it tip in, take this off and roll it on the floor, roll it round just to agitate the carbon so often they're getting ready. But for the time being, I'm just <coughs> chaining these small ones on here. Because I'm off to work. It's better me so I screw these on. Next time, 15 minutes. I'm off to work. I need to pull the cap out on this. Bear me a second. You can see it's feeding time at the zoo. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping these are all a growing doing me a while because I have up the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I have up the feeder really well banging a lot more food in now um, <coughs> testing my water oh yeah <coughs> yesterday that's why I know chlorine my high nitrate doing well, ammonia is doing well uh, and also I can't eat soda, checking for that on the cake so I did that and uh, it was fine but I've been away for a few days come come back and uh, try to make it back hard in, in Monday and we're on Wednesday today so just a little bit of back hard in Monday and tested last night we're at okay, uh, age of 6 so we're doing alright on that so yeah, tops off that, pull that on there, and empty that. Yeah, that's a new carbon added. Uh, I'd always say, always say they're on a bit of a sod to get these iron here. I had to bang it and bang it, pull it up all the floor most of it, so not the best ideal thingy, but So I would say, yeah, it's cheaper than buying, buying these in block cartridge where you just take the packages out and just um, pull them out and change them. But these, you buy a big bag, your carbon stuff there, a big bag to change the big blue. And if you haven't for these refillable pods, you could change these on a regular basis. Um, you can buy these at Andy Finch. It's on this internet. 
our Facebook um, where you can get these from. It does sell them. Alright, we're off to Nook Shut oh. Ground in the next week or two, I think it is. Two weeks. And um, it should be there, and if ancient the people are, do flog these. And they are worth having. Having, if you got a set of four, then you just change four cartridges, then put the other two ones in, then take the other two known old ones out, and you enter them, fill them up. When you get ready, you got a chance. So it's a good idea. I thought if you really wanted to, we change your pre-filtered um, paper one. Yep. Well, this time I ain't changing because I ain't got any more of them paper filled left, so. And basically as simple as that. Yeah, up, back up. That is a guy. So, so that's all. I changed that one for another one ready to to go. And I could do it by another one then. Now I've got two ready to set up and ready to go. Right. So I'll just mix a bit of this sodium um, false sulfate, I want to call it. Uh, also, <coughs> about there is a new stream where I tried to on the on the last video, previous video. Um, <coughs> I commented off my one of my YouTube subscribers. He changed <coughs> changed his, and he put his his. Um, in the bath soaking hot water, soaking hot water, just stretches it, <coughs> excuse me, chopping the cups, stretches it a little bit, to sort it out. So I might get out a whirl and, and fit it. I don't want I don't want it fitting. Just let me find a jug. <coughs> I 
Right, so I usually wear this out to 130 grams to two litre bottles because um, I'm not going to wait it out because I'm just chucking some in. You can't have a dose with this stuff anyway, you just got to chuck some stuff in. Mix with hot water. Until all the crystals are dissolved. Well, don't tell the wife I'm using the uh, best jokes because she'll uh, not be happy. This uh, stir it up till it dissolves. Excuse me, too many cups. And that's it basically, and you can't have a dose for this. Ideal best result would just let it cool down and leave it till um, it's cold. But <coughs> Obviously I want to get this in because um, I've worked in 20 minutes so I want to get this poured in, it is dissolved but But I've not heard nobody says uh, you can't use this hot, it's got to be cooled down or anything like that. I don't know if you can or, or what, or you need to cool it down with it. Just drop a comment in below. Guys, you tell me what you're supposed to do. But I just put it in whenever, whenever I need it. Chucking over the air still. Any idea what temperature it's going to make? I hurt, I don't think it will do. But yeah, I'll have to get that off and just give it a roll. Turn it all off. You remember, guys, when you're using um, all spike connected to. Three stage and a big blow, and the big blow connected to it. A tank like that, you got water oh, into it all the time. Don't no mistake, but I did uh, the other week. Pulled the outlet off that. Um, no, I turned turn that off there so no water feeding to pull the outlet off that because that pressurized your water. The water shot out oh, over there like that, straight over there into all my electrics, and it popped on electric. Lucky enough, I've got a separate R RCD in the house, <laughs> and um, I only tripped that one, not the house, just that one. So I had to get a cloth quickly, dry it all out, then um, get it all back up again. And then, because we're all at it, not told my timer out on the, um, the feeder. They say every two hours, and that's 105. <clears throat> I'm not really saying sure what that means in, in Lerman's terms of grams, how many putting in, or whether that's minutes or what on this aqua for timer for the feeder. But I guess I need to measure it, drop it, and measure it to see how much it's actually going in. No, no, full wise and what I'm feeding per grams every two hours, but I just want to up, up it by five. So if it's 105, next should be 110. So yeah, the water shot over there in electricity, blowing electric, and I was changing this. 
but I'll take that and roll it. And then I won't um, get that get that screen out and while the while the wife's away on holiday in a minute. I might take it upstairs and soak it in the bath. And then in hot water. Bring it down and I can stretch it a bit more to fit round on the screen. But I won't say if you want to help, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. And anyway, my certificates have come in through finally for my solar panel, so I'm getting a G99 come through for that. Um been weeks and weeks for them to come in my paperwork for that. I'm looking off the guy who was sorted on my paperwork out, put some extra clips on under my thingy because it wasn't right. All that bag of machines. Um, just I think in this game when people all fit solar panels and all this, or people wanted solar panels, there's that many sharks and different companies out there. They just rip you off and um, you're very slow and slack, but lucky enough, <coughs> I've not to pay a penny out to him yet. Because he, he hadn't got it all signed back and sorted me, but he did rang up last week and said um, the May edition uh, 700 quid to pay towards um, National Grid. In case need to alter anything on the box at End of Street, and they're not guaranteed they might not give me uh, the certificate, but I am the only one on the street that has um, solar panels, so I'll be like. Put it should be no problem again. The solar panels, the certificate for the solar panels. Sorry, because um, I've done it. Well, that's all the trouble is if you start to have all these solar panels fitted and you want more, I said more is not always great because um, you have to have a G99 for over a six kilowatt system put on here. So yeah, so you need a G99 for a six kilowatt system. But people who install these solar panel systems will not tell you that. If they can get away just shoving it on and not giving you no paperwork and take your money and run, and you're using electric, putting it back to the grid, or you're filling a battery like we do, it's marvellous, it's great. All that bag of mashing is brilliant, but then you don't realise <clears throat> when you contact your energy supplier, like me, or I'm with Octopus, to um, ask about getting paid for feeding it back into the grid, because I'm putting a lot of electric back into the grid, and um, I want to get paid for it. They turn around and say to me, oh, have you got your um, G99 certificate? I said, what's that? I ain't got a clue. You really need that. Otherwise your system, otherwise you can't export back into the system. Oh, great, right, lovely. So like at the minute, we're producing 745 watts. On there, and battery at 10%. Because we're not putting no charging, because we're using more electric in the house at the minute. And we are at about 20 past 8 in the morning. So not bad, 800 watts. But don't forget, having the size of the pond I've got and the heater, what's working away at the minute. So, yeah, so we installed all the solar panels and stuff. Took the money and ran away and laughing. So you 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 will say argument say, well why didn't you go back to the company who installed it? Ask them for the paperwork. Argue with them. You had a good point there. I would have argued with the company. But the company who fitted him have gone bust. Have gone. So they ripped thousands of people off, take a deposit and money and not even installing the work. Lucky enough. I had mine all installed and done, and it was done correctly to, to a certain standard. Uh, one or two bits of bomb had to be changing the fuse board. The fuse board had to have a new fuse put in it. 
Um, that will be basically it. And um, brackets on the outside, a couple of clips on the side of the wire. That's all I need. So, <clears throat> I've got a standing work. It's brilliant. But I did find out somebody was a work for their company. People are doing electric, electric people are doing the engineering, they're doing the work, and sometimes they're not getting paid. Or the money were late or whatever. So people who weren't getting paid, they weren't issuing um, MCS certificates out for the work they've done. So we need to try and trace back who did electric work. I didn't have a clue because they just sent somebody from the company. So they didn't know who fitted it <coughs> to a certain point. But another company who did it. But they've gone bust. So I had to go for all that yeah, again and get somebody to come on and check the work and sign to it. Because a lot of people don't want to sign their name to the someone else's work. Because they, it means they're putting their name to something that could be dodgy and they're liable. So a lot of electric engineering people want to take all the system down, all the solar panels, all the system that you out, and then reinstall it back again. <coughs> How they're doing it, peace of mind. Yeah, I don't blame people who want to do that. Because they're still out there wanting to install it, and they know it's done correctly, peace of mind. But I managed to get somebody to come out and look at it, check it over, and then I've got my certificate sorted to come in, so I start getting paid electric back into into grid for my energy supplier. But anyway, I'm waffling on a bit, so I'll end it on this one in a minute, and I shall um, catch back up with in a bit and get this screen off again and soak in the water, see if it works. Apparently I don't want to look like can't bother with the ball yet, but Anyway, I'll see if we can get it off. I'll see if we can have a look at the screen. We get the minutes. So I'm off to work, so I'll see you in a bit. So it's Friday. I'm just going to go down and um, up the feeder on our way out and show how much I'm actually feeding per day in grams per session. The grass is getting a bit tidy, untidy again, needs cutting. So they are currently waiting for the 8 o'clock feed. One, two, five. So I'll just nip over here. <coughs> Sorry, fish. To start with them. <coughs> well, there you go. Just kicked off. So I'm just going to weigh this, see yeah, how much um, bulbs coming in. Like I say, we're going to fit this new screen on and try that again, so I can hot water just to manipulate it so it might fit but I just have bothered not at the time to fit it yeah so they're all wondering why the food's not coming in Yeah, so next weekend is a Nook Koi Show, <coughs> 24th, 25th. So I should be there probably, do a bit of filming and um, pick up a bit more food.
never ending. Come on. Right, there you go. That's a fold. That's roughly what I'm feeding. So I'll just get the weighing scales and we'll, um, we'll weigh this out. In gravity form, so I'll get me a little uh, measuring jug. What we'll Pyrex jug I use. Right, there's zero of that. So roughly 22 grams. I'll just try and work out the mass. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 110 grams a day. That is not a lot of food. So I'm definitely going to get a lot more added to it. Doesn't seem a lot there, does it? So yeah, we'll get this um, feeder wrapped up a bit. <coughs> because they ain't going to grow if I don't put more food in. Obviously more food, more money. You gotta bear in mind as well when you're loading, oh, adding more fuel, you're gonna get a bit of ammonia spike, a bit of nitro spike, but that's what your filter's for to mop it up. <coughs> a day or two or whatever, just to get used to the levels of the, the feed. Last one at half nine. And press the middle button and ease it up. <coughs> Cheers, me. So, yeah, that's the feed it up. We'll have to get some more food. <coughs> Got a fairly bit of waste on bottom, but. It does eventually um, get down the drain because fish do tend to sift through it all and they are mucking around. They do get a bit, a bit skitty because I'm not used to them. I'm, I'm, I'm never down here. I'm always busy working so I do come down in the morning just check everything looks alright. Visual checks and stuff like that but I don't I'm not here as much, and they're not, they're, they're not used to somebody being here, so they get a bit skitty. But there's 
that's the peril of working up time, isn't it? And stuff. So yeah, like I say, I'm not fitted this screen yet. I ain't got round to uh, messing with me and showing you what how I'm gonna fit it, try and fit it again. But like I said, I shall leave it on um, this one for this week. And I shall uh, pick up when I go to the Newark <coughs> next weekend. So yeah, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. And do you a favour, tell a friend. And point it in directions. So thanks for watching on this week's. I shall see you later guys and girls. Bye.